y'all know I'm so good at finding Doc Martens. So I am picking up Nat and we are going thrifting at one of like the best spots I think in New Jersey. Um, it's called Udelco and it's kind of like a hidden gem but I guess I'm giving you guys all of the information on it now so I guess you're gonna have to go there. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for Nat to come out and she um, is gonna give you some tips I think on like thrifting and like how to do it and I'll give you my tips I guess but I think gnats are better anyway so yeah stay tuned ah look at her there she is look at her so fresh oh my god yes. <laughs> that found the Harley bin <laughs> what you got what's going on <laughs> They fit perfectly. I like them. When to put my hands in the pockets, and I was like, like wait, why? Something's why? wrong here. <laughs> You don't need that facts. Are you going to Italy anytime soon? Yeah, I'm Okay, so <laughs> that answers that. I like the top of them. All right, we can ignore her. We can think about her. Mm. Basic. Damn. They have every size you could ever, could ever dream of. Oh, you found those Harley tops? Good. Yeah. On that rack. Oh, yes. I was gonna take that one and I was like, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be 20 bucks, which is not cute. But if it's not 20. <laughs> Y'all. Killing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this jacket is so sick. But where the heck would I wear this? Everywhere. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> uh, shout out my what do you mom. got? Uh, some lingerie, <laughs> some lingerie, an essential part of my outfit. Oh yeah, what uh, is your name? Uh, Shane. Shane, cool. Nice to meet you, Shane. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Yo, sh drop a like, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, guys. So, um, well, I'm really bad at this, but whatever. <laughs> we just got out of you, Delco. True. And. I didn't really like introduce this vlog, but whatever. Well, I kind of did before. We went to Udelco. It's a, <laughs> it's a thrift store that has been exploited and now is expensive, but it used to be a gem. But you can still find the best shit. So we're gonna show you what we found. Yes. 
I found a lot of Harley. I'm gonna start off with this. It's like a button up, no sleeve situation. Very cute, very summery, which of course, is, it is not, not right now. <laughs> it's not, but you can always dream. It is not winter. It is 44 it's, degrees outside. It's New Jersey in the winter. Another Harley top, cute. They have a lot of Harley stuff. Mm -hmm. They have like bins. I don't know where labeled. they get all of it, but I would like to know. That kid who works in there probably like gets first dibs on everything oh, that for comes sure. in. His I got this skirt, which will be nice for it's like a mid long slash midi, depending on your height. Um, skirt. So that'll be nice. I like the pattern on it. I dig that a lot. And then these, which I don't know if they'll fit me because I was too lazy to try them on. <laughs> um, but like, they're just a wide leg wool material pant. <laughs> pant. So, but they're nice regardless. If they don't fit me, they'll fit somebody else. True, true, true. And then lastly, this Harley Davidson workwear shirt that was actually belonged to Jason prior to belonging to me. And yeah, shout lot. out to Roswell Motorcycles. Boswell. Boswell. Boswell <laughs> Motorcycles. So, but this is very cool, very workwear, which yes. is trendy. Do that. Oh, so. yes. So, kill that. total, it was $41 yes. for about five things. Not the worst at all, True. I guess. Not as good as, like, Goodwill, but hey, what are you going to do? So, I only got four things. Mine were a little bit more on the pricey side. But, um, I got these, like, really dope green pants. And, um, they're high-waisted. And they have like the Route 66, like, I don't know. I have a thing for like the like leather like patches on the back. I don't know. Love. I like them. Regardless of like what brand they are, I don't really care. But they're the relaxed fit and they're kind of like mom genie style when you put them on, kind of, right? -ish. Mom jean esque, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're this like cool green color. So I got those because I don't really have any colorful pants. So I figured that'd be like cool to do with like a black or like white. Then I got these pants that I originally had on backwards. <laughs> um, they're this like white kind of. They're not really linen. I don't know what you would call this. Is this like polyester they are or what? All right. Well, they're like beach these wear pants. White linen pants. Highly suggest you don't wear pink underwear with them. Um, but well, I'm probably going to Italy in uh, the summer, so I figured these would be a good pair of pants to have since. I don't know. I'm bad at describing this stuff. Now it's probably better. Then I was looking through the handbag section and I have like a million bags, but I was like, why not get another one? And I don't really have a bag like this. So I found this guess one and it like looks like a little like purse -y, like satchel thing. That's not a satchel, it but whatever. It looks like an oversized coin. Purse. Coin bag. Yes. That's what I was looking for. Ladies. But it has like backpack straps on it. So you can just like throw it on your back with like all your stuff in it. That's actually it, like, opens like a phenomenal. Coin purse. I was very cool, very proud of that find. And then last but not least, I found these white Doc Martens because y'all know I'm so good at finding Doc Martens. I found these ones oh, yeah, bring her up. <laughs> for $15. I found um my ex-boyfriend a pair of like the Doc Martin like loafer shoes. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Like, yeah. not the boots, the shoes. For $4 at a Goodwill, so you're what? welcome. Yeah, so then I just found these, and I tried Damn. them on, and I was super stoked because they're all white. And The pricing guy was out of yeah. town, I guess. So. Yeah, literally. <laughs> $4? So, yeah, I was pumped on those when I found them because pretty much all my yeah, Doc Martens have been thrifted. And my total came to $47, I think. I think yeah, so I got four things, so like $10-ish each. And, yeah. That's Not. that. So, yeah, that's our haul Can't for now. I don't know what we're going to do after this, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, you should go thrifting if you don't go already, because you can find some pretty yeah. good stuff. That's a thing. Thank you.
segment if you will at every red light we're gonna speak upon thrifting yes so where do i start why do you like thrifting ah uh, <laughs> that i like thrifting because you can find one of a kind things True. and things that you may like that you find you would never be able to find in a store because it's not trendy at the moment it's not it's not happening right now but that doesn't mean it's not cute like there's some silhouettes that are just Can like I get Ben and Jerry's really quick um yes <laughs> um I will not hold you back <laughs> um, I'm thrifting in San Francisco oh my god I look like I did not contour because we weren't prepared but when I was in San Francisco, I bought a corset, which was really interesting to style with, and I would have never have found it anywhere else. And it was more, it was better quality than it would have been. It's cheaper, it's the most unique. So that's why I love thrifting. I do I love thrifting? Uh, I feel like I've always kind of done it. Like now that it's, and like even with you too, like even True. like now it's become like a tr like a trendy thing to do. Like, oh, go to the thrift store and like find something cool. Like, I don't know, I've always enjoyed like going and like sifting through bins, even though that doesn't sound appealing to a lot of people. Um, for pretty much yeah. the same thing, like you said, the fact that you can find pieces that are not in the store, so it's super unique, or you find something that was like trendy like years ago, and you're like kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. the high waisted style is coming back in, or is in, or whatever's going on with it. I don't know, you know more of this stuff than I do. <laughs> that and just like finding like gems that like someone else threw away, I think is so rewarding because it's like. Like, and for a perfect so example is like the Doc Martens that I'm wearing now. I want them so bad and I was like, oh, I should ask for them for Christmas. And then like a week later I went and found them and I was so like excited that I found them. So I think being able to like go there and sift and find things and like put the time and effort into it rather than just like clicking on a website mm -hmm. to like find something that you like really wanted, I think is like, um, just like makes it's you It's just fun good. and fresh. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, Basically. we'll come at you after some Ben and Jerry. Okay, so Nicole decided to get the most casual, uh, easy, just quick. <laughs> well, this is small too. I don't believe you. <laughs> they definitely thought you were cute, and we're like, we're gonna give her an we're XL. Gonna give you extra. <laughs> I'd imagine those kind of things happen to you. <laughs> I would not know. No. Not. Let's see. What's the, oh, what's the best thing you've ever fi found thrifting? Oh. For me, I will sometimes go to estate sales, and I can find some like pretty amazing designer things for cheap because if it's like a liquidator doing the estate sale then they don't know what they have they just want to get rid of stuff so I found this Louis Vuitton oh. like pink polo situate it was it's literally amazing so I found that and then like Dolce Gabbana pants um yeah that was one designer estate sale where I just got a bunch of shit for like super cheap and it was phenomenal. Okay. Well, oh my God. well uh, uh, <laughs> um, you can skip if you want. <laughs> no, no, no. We're doing this thing. Um, mine would have to be the Doc Martens at the Goodwill for sure. Like, oh, yes. I've never really found any like designer designer stuff at thrift stores. Actually, I take it back. Okay, so I have two things. One are those Doc Martens. I found it at Goodwill in Wilmington. Oh my school. god, wait. Most recently, because that was a year ago, 
but at the same exact thrift store that I found the Doc Martens at, I found a Burberry trench coat. Oh, I found one of those two mm -hmm. at an estate sale. Yep, um, it, it's so nice. Um, I can like fit all my winter layers under it, but it's just like a good like trench raincoat kind of thing. It's not waterproof, but it's like water resistant, I guess. Um, it's like sure. an like a thousand like two hundred dollar jacket. Like it's gonna yeah. expensive. And so I found it and I was like, yes. Burberry is no joke. So I was pretty hype on that. So that is like the one designer thing I think that I've found thrifting. <gasps> Battery exhausted. Oh shit. Jeez. Okay, I don't even know how to how do you see like what you're doing? You don't. <laughs> it's like, a oh. Okay. We're gonna continue on the phone because the camera died. <laughs> Typical YouTuber fashion. Yeah, I don't even you already know. Charger home, to be honest with you. Oh, good. <laughs> Fabulous. I also have gum in now, so everything's just more annoying. You know the sound and like talk and like your gestures, but you also look like <laughs> Claudia Saluski. Yes. Literally, I, I freaking love her. So that's like totally a compliment. Oh, thank you. But I was looking at you <laughs> last night when we were in my room, and I was like. Why did, like, what is she doing that's, like, making me feel like I, like, have seen her before? Like, yeah. obviously I've seen you before, but... Like, <laughs> I, know, I know this girl. <laughs> but, like, someone, like, I frequent, swear to God, and then as familiar. soon as you left and I dropped you off and I got back home, I, like, opened up my laptop, I was like, oh my gosh, Claudia Slewski. I probably don't know who she and is. she's, she's dating like Billie Eilish's brother. Is that who that is? Yes. Okay. Phineas. All right, yeah. So, he's a musician. When I was at... Um, outside lands in San Francisco Billy was like all right I'm gonna let my brother sing a song if that's like cool with all you guys and we're all like yeah <laughs> if we have to <laughs> he was good though he was cute New Jersey's kind of pretty right now mm, stop sign. okay cool <laughs> and another third question what is your like procedure when thrifting so for me I try to thrift at as small a cost as I can. I wear it, I style it, I look for textiles to repurpose things, and then I'll usually resell it, which I know is like kind of cringy and kind of controversial because it's like you're reselling vintage that was already cheap and you're selling it. That's for function for me. I'm not trying to like exploit thrifting. Um, I will resell though on Depop. So that's my kind of one, two, three. I wear it, I style it, I resell it. Okay, mine is, I don't, I've thought about, people tell me that I should like thrift things and then like sell them on like a Instagram or like a Depop kind of thing. But it just like takes a lot of, what did you say? <laughs> uh, Depop. <laughs> we love Depop. It just like takes a lot of effort, I think for me and I just like don't have it time does. for it. Um, there is a lot of effort involved with reselling. Yeah. For, for now, like, the sole purpose of me thrifting is just out of, like, enjoyment for myself and, like, finding, like, cool things that I like. And normally my process is, um, like, I go in and, like, normally places have, like, or at least Udelco has, like, shirts that are picked out in the front that they kind of just, like, put there randomly. And I kind of sift through that stuff and then I usually go in with, like, an idea of something that I want. So, like, I've been looking for, like, really nice, um, like, silk shirts them to go out but like also just wear them with a pair of jeans so I feel like they're very versatile and I like that so um I go in there with like an idea of like what I want or what I'm looking for and then occasionally I'll just like find something like perfect example today I found those Doc Martens and I was like you know what I need those because like how can you pass up something like that you know True. I don't know but yeah that's my procedure rude <laughs> okay well that just ended so i don't know what happened there but basically i just said that nana's leaving she's going back to school i'm gonna leave all of her information in the down bar thing so you can give her a little follow and find all that good stuff with her go check out her depop she sells some sick stuff she's got great style so yeah and yeah. if anyone is in the new york area and they need help with depop or if you want to visit the space in little italy down by chinatown pull through yes so if you have interest in selling on depop though dm me hitting that can, up she's can, your girl we can work it out we got the connections all right <laughs> all right bye bye